Hey everyone, welcome back to The Lonely Dragon. I'm Edwin Perez. And I'm Joanna Gaskell. And we are here with Michelle Ferguson and Nick Humphreys. Yay! Hi. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? Good. Good. Cool. Now, you guys just finished a short film. We did. Do you want to talk to us a little bit about that? Yes, we do. All right. Uh, okay, so we shot this short film called Emma's for Messiah. And it is a competition piece for ABCs of Death 2, which is a 26... Uh, part anthology horror movie by 26 of the biggest horror directors in the world. Um, the producers of ABCs of Death curate the first 25 films and then they release a letter for a competition. Filmmakers from all over the world create short films based on whatever that letter is and then the top film selected gets to be included in the final anthology uh, and gets theatrical Blu-ray DVD distribution. So we made a short film called Emma's for Messiah out in Chilliwack where I grew up. We needed a piece of forest. I had some friends with some property up there. Uh, and uh, we went out Friday, September 13th. All night long? All night long. What's it about? Can you give me, yeah. give me a pitch? Uh, it is about uh, myself who is uh, the sacrifice. I find myself wound up uh, being led through the woods by a, a pack of, of, I don't even know what they look like at this point, but uh, a, a bunch of tribal people who uh, are seemingly going to sacrifice me to their god. And, uh, Classic. I, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little terrified. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> so you play the lead. I this. do, yes. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, and then there's a little twist at the end where I kind of take my, my fate into my own hands. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now there's uh, there's voting involved in this, right? So there are people out there can actually help you guys uh, yes. get in, right? Yes. So the top... Uh, <laughs> the films stop being uh, submitted October 31st is okay. when the competition closes. Uh, and then on November 5th, uh, the top 12 films are announced. So six of those films will be the top liked films on the website, which is why we need people to go and like the film Emma's for Messiah on the ABCs of Death 2 website. Emma's for Messiah by Nick Humphreys. Yeah, there's a couple Messiahs on there now. Oh, wow. Yeah, 150 uh, films so far. Yes. We're sitting at number 14. We need to get into the top six. Okay. Um, the other six are selected by a jury, and then on December 15th, the number one film is announced, um, and we'll find out if we get to be in the movie or not. If not, you know, we'll do festivals and things with that too, so it's yeah. not a total loss and it's been a, a fun to compete. But uh, yeah, trying to get all those likes in have been pulled It's been out. challenging. Yeah. You're taking advantage of all the social media, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram even sometimes, and uh, YouTube. There have been uh, a couple of YouTube videos made asking for to help for people to go and just take a look at the film. It's three minutes of your time. and. Uh, it's help helping fellow filmmakers out and yeah for sure yeah yeah there's usually a, I've seen a few of these before where it's basically asking for like a fan choice mm -hmm. and so you can actually watch the entire film to vote on it right it's not just a teaser you can watch the whole thing yeah. right okay cool yeah. fantastic okay now um, you guys have been in the city and working on all sorts of things for a while so you are an actress I am. and you've worked a little bit in new media that I just met you today, but I've heard some interesting things about the <laughs> stuff that you've done in web series. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, I actually started in Ontario and um, I fell in with uh, uh, Casey McKin McKinnon, mm -hmm. if, she, if she's still McKinnon now. Yeah. <laughs> I think so, yeah. And uh, she, her and her now husband, which is why I say McKinnon, uh, her and her now husband did a, a web series called Galacticast and uh, they had me on for a couple of episodes of that, which was pretty cool. It was kind of like they were, I think, part of the, the pioneering people behind like web series and stuff like that where not a lot of that stuff was going on so uh, they've kind of made that into their own little uh, industry which is pretty cool it very was cool cool to be yeah. a part of it and then I met this guy at school yeah and we both have Casey in common which was really strange yeah, yeah. and school being uh, Vancouver Film School yes right and you guys are both working there now yep Okay, yes. so what have you done in, in film in Vancouver, Nick? You know, there's a lot to talk about. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, okay, I mean, okay. I've been shooting short films for a while, probably since 2007, I think I shot my first short. Um, and working at Vancouver Film School has allowed me to work on a lot of uh, short movies, which has been really cool. Uh, my first sort of larger thing that I did was a web series called Reese Kingdom Falling, uh, which we shot in 2009. 
Um, we licensed it to it. yeah, yeah. It, was, it did quite well. Yeah. Um, we wound up on the Sci-Fi uh, website and Space Channel. Um, recut it as a feature, so it was on broadcast on television. Um, we got DVD distribution in Australia, which is kind of neat. Wow. Um, yeah. I didn't know that. That's fantastic. That's awesome. Yeah. I actually had to order my copy off the internet <laughs> for like fifty bucks, oh and I can't even watch it, but it's sitting on my shelf. So oh. that's cool. Um, yeah. And then a prequel novel came out through Simon and Schuster, which I still. Oh have to read um, and that kind of allowed me to do some other bigger things I shot my first feature last year it's called death to part uh, it's coming out I think next year it'll be on Netflix and iTunes okay. and all those things That's cool. and then uh, another short film I directed called the little mermaid uh, one best short at scream fest in 2011 is now being adapted into a feature film so we're gonna shoot that in the spring oh wow yeah, so I've been kind of busy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely. I actually watched the uh, the Little Mermaid short. It's fantastic. Oh, thank you. Really, really well done. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we thank shot that for I think fifteen hundred dollars. Um, nice. You know, fed the crew, paid for supplies to build the set, but and was, the mermaid, obviously. The mermaid. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. was expensive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. No, we had a really great makeup artist on that, a woman named Sarah Elizabeth, who was a contestant in season three of uh, Face Off on Sci-Fi. Okay. Oh. So she's back to work on the feature, and we've done a number of short films together since then. She worked on Messiah. She worked on Messiah. She yes. did all the blood effects. She, she put did. blood all over my naked body. Yeah. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, I, whoa, naked, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Story. Yeah. So we wanted to push the envelope a little bit uh, with this film, and we knew we needed some nudity, but I'm sort of a big uh, champion of never asking actors to do something you wouldn't do yourself. And because we weren't paying any of these people, uh, I knew that I had to kind of be the first to step out and, and do this. So uh, I directed the film naked. Um, I had a mask, which I held over myself for most of the night. Um, but there are some pictures floating around um, where I'm sort of standing behind the camera team, you know, like approving a frame and... Naked. Uh, <laughs> which either makes me like a really unprofessional person or a total rock star. Well, I guess it depends on you where you're coming from. You did try the robe for a little while. I did. But it kept taking off the body paint. Oh, well, mm. sacrifice, right? And now this wasn't summer. No. No. No, it was, it was not. Quite chilly. We shot, <laughs> <laughs> we shot through the night, so it was it was pretty cold, cold. out in the forest. Wow. So, it was uh, it was pretty incredible. I um felt bad wearing I felt bad being clothed. Yeah, you were the only one. I was the only one that was clothed and I had I, I had a blanket in between shots and I decided I need to, you know, man up at some point and join these guys. <laughs> <laughs> Not cool. so shivery cold. Yeah, right. but we had a lot of like really good sports on yes. the team, and there was actors that came out with us from Vancouver, and then a lot of my friends that I made movies with when I was like 12 and 13 years old came out because mm -hmm. they were in Chilliwack already, and they also took their clothes off uh, because they loved me and they wanted me. naked party. Yeah, <laughs> it was a naked party. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, remind us where we can go to vote for your, uh, for your film. If you go to the ABCs of Death 2 website. Um, Part two. ABCs of Death Part Two. Dot com, dot com slash M is for Messiah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. We'll All get right. the exact link to post yeah. we'll somewhere in the frame. Some, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then basically, uh, as long as you go to that page and there's a little Facebook icon on the top, sort of right of the video, click like. <laughs> Um, leave a comment uh, if you can, if you liked it, because um, yeah. all that will help us um, get in the eyes of the producers of the movie and mm -hmm. awesome. help us get into that anthology. Absolutely. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming out and talking to us. Thank, thank you for thank having you. us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much. Cool. And we'll see you next time on The Lonely Dragon. And don't forget to go vote yeah, that. and help M for Messiah. That as well. Yeah. Get to the top six. Yep. We'll see you next time. <laughs>